Hi friends, my message today is on overcoming self-consciousness. So this, this video is for the people who may be young adults or anyone who is more inwardly focused and is more concerned about how they come across and tends to worry and focus a lot of their thoughts on how they look, how they're being judged, how they're being perceived, um, any of that self-consciousness that keeps you from moving ahead in life and being happy. So my number one point is most people don't care. Consider for yourself, um, say you run across someone in the grocery store who is just dressed really strange or behaving really strangely. How long do you think about that person? Like you might have a moment where you think that's interesting, that's entertaining, that's weird, whatever. But then you go back to your own life and you're and thinking about yourself again. Um, I had a roommate who pointed this out that um, everyone's thinking about their own hair all the time. You see me like messing with my hair in my videos, making sure it's not distracting. But like, it's really true. If you go out, like you're thinking about your own hair, you're not thinking about everyone else's hair. So you can use that knowledge to your advantage and be less self-conscious knowing that no one's really paying attention to your hair. They're worried about what you're thinking about their hair, <laughs> okay? So um, another thing is maybe some people, some of you have developed um, a sense of self-consciousness because you were picked on or teased or because you were bullied or someone pointed out something about you in your past, maybe repeatedly, and it stuck with you and it caused you to have the, to develop a self-consciousness and to um, be extra worried about some aspect of yourself. I can relate, all right? Let me tell you, when I was a little girl, well, when I was born, this is, the nat this is my natural um, biology. I have eyebrows that they don't really show so much anymore. Let's see if I can zoom in here. They naturally grow upward at the peak, at the arch. And it was very, very pronounced when I was a little girl. I used to get called Spock. I used to be called, asked if I was an alien. Um, I was teased. I, people said I looked evil. All those things like really made me feel self-conscious and feel like uh, I was somehow weird. I was somehow not acceptable. I was somehow not okay. And um, when I got to be a teenager, it got to be so much that I discovered um, I could use tweezers and pluck them out. And I did that. And now, like, I, I don't really care. I just let them be. But they've pretty much not grown back to where they used to be. So um, when someone picks on you, it's usually because they're projecting their own insecurity on you. And in a weird way, they want to protect you from other people picking on you by saying like, well, I, I know you're gonna get picked on, so I'm gonna expose you to it myself, and maybe you'll grow a thick skin surrounding this. It's a weird thing that people do. But mainly people are, are quite inwardly focused themselves, and so if they tend to be insecure, um, to point out someone else's whatever um, takes the focus off of them which a lot of people are very un uncomfortable having focus on them. So they will preemptively pick on other people to redirect that focus and prevent that focus from being on them. Um, and then I wanna say that in the end, in the big picture, what you look like doesn't matter. What matters is how you treat people. What matters is what you have to give to the world and what you're passionate about and what your purpose is. So um, I experienced this when Michael and I went on Dr. Phil. Like, of course I could be obsessed with, how's my hair? Do I look okay? What will people say about how I look? But what I wanted to do was focus on what my message was and what my purpose was and what I had to say. And when I focus on what it is that I'm trying to accomplish and what I have to say, I don't have any mental space to worry about how I look. That's not my focus. My focus is on what I'm doing. So um, my focus was on communication and it was an outward focus. And I think as long as you can keep that in mind 
It should be able to help you, if you tend to be self-conscious, to just focus on what it is you're doing. And, you know, look at our historical heroes. Martin Luther King Jr., was he a beauty queen? You know, was he... Were any of our historical figures and heroes known for their beauty? No, they were known for what they gave. They were known for what they did and how they changed the world. So use that and try not to focus so much on outward appearance. It's what's in your... Got a phone call. <laughs> it interrupted the recording. It's what's in your heart that counts. It's what you do. It's how you treat other people. It's how you make other people feel. Sure, you could be a model or whatever, but really what people will remember you for is for what's inside and for what you do. If you're inwardly focused and you know self-conscious about how you look and that keeps you from reaching out to other people, then your output and your contribution will be minimized. So let's just, I think there's a really good reason why we can't normally see ourselves unless we look in the mirror. I think there's a re like a really good reason why our eyes <laughs> point outward. Um, so let's keep our focus outward and on what we're doing and on what we're trying to do. All right, I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.